everyone welcome back to another tutorial hope you're doing great thank you guys for coming back my name is Cynthia if you're watching me for the first time you're welcome to the family in today's video I'm gonna be showing us how to make this short dress I'll be using black fabric for this tutorial I'll be making use of one and a half yards of fabric the dress is for a small size if you're making it for medium large or s large you can use two yards of fabric. This one I'm making is a size small. So I'll be making use of one and a half yards of fabric, 60 inches by length. So let's go ahead and uh, fold our fabric. I'll be cutting out the half length first. This is the front panel and this is the back one. I folded both into two. I will use one and a half inches for zipper allowance here. The back is 1.5 inches bigger than the front one because of zipper allowance. So the full length of the dress is 37 inches. The half length is 17 inches. I'll minus 17 from 37 inches. 37 minus 17 is 20 inches. So the lower part is 20 inches and the upper part is 17 inches. I'll be adding two inches band to the waistline. So I will minus one inch from the upper part and minus one inch from the lower part. So instead of me using 17 inches for the upper part, I will be using 16 inches. So this is the length I have 17 inches. If I minus one inch from 17, I'll be left with 16 inches. So I will add one inch again for sewing allowance. So that is 17 inches. I'll mark 17 inches here. So I'm making use of this whole part. We're cutting out the shoulder and the sleeve together. So we measure right from here, from the back midpoint to this place. So right from the back midpoint, I'll be using 29 inches. And I'll use the remaining two inches for folding allowance. So I will use 29 inches. And then use two inches for folding allowance. It is a turtle neck. I'll be using 2.5 inches for the wideness of the neck. I will use 1.5 inches for the back depth and 3 inches for the front depth. I will connect it. I will go to this side and mark 1.5 inches for shoulder slope. I will connect the shoulder slope to the neckline. So I will go ahead and place the measurement. From my shoulder to bust is 10 inches. Shoulder to waist is 17 inches. Plus sewing allowance, I have minus one inch already. So this is the first line. I'll mark it like so. So I will place a quarter of her bust measurement right on the bust line here and place the waist measurement here. Her bust measurement is 34 inches divided by four is eight and a half inches. I will place eight and a half inches here and add 1.5 inches for sewing allowance. That is 10 inches. I mark 10 inches here. Her waist measurement is 26 inches divided by 4 is 6.5. I'll mark 6.5. I'm not adding that to the dress. I will still add 1.5 inches for sewing allowance. That's 8 inches. I'll connect it from the bust to the waistline. So I will go to this side here and place the arm opening. The sleeve is like a bare sleeve. So this side will be wider than this side. I will be marking 16 inches for the round sleeve. So I will connect it like so. In order to have that um, bare sleeve shape, I will just take it like so. 
connect it to this 16 inches. Just take it from up here, right from the bust measurement and take it to the other side just to have that shape. This is the back side. I will go to the waistline and go inside by three quarter of an inch. This is to eliminate the zip bulge. I'll go ahead and cut it out. So I'm done cutting the upper part. I'll go ahead and cut out the lower part. I will set this aside and fold my fabric into two. I'm cutting all the front and the back together. This is the back. The back is one inch bigger than the front because of zipper allowance. Remember I said the length is 20 inches. If I minus one inch from the 20 inches for the waistband, I'll be left with 19 inches. I'll still adding 1.5 inches for sewing allowance. I'll be folding the lower part and use half inch for the upper part. So 1.5 inches plus 19, that is 20 and half inches. I have 20 and half inches here. I will place a quarter of the waist measurement here and add 1.5 inches for sewing allowance. Quarter of the waist measurement is 6.5 plus 1.5 inches for sewing allowance. That's 8 inches. It's from waist to hip is 9 inches. Right on this 9 inches, I'll place a, a quarter of a hip measurement. A quarter of a hip measurement is 10 inches. I'll add 1.5 inches for sewing allowance. That is 11 and a half. So we go to the lower part here. Check what I have here. Minus 1.5 inches from here and place it here. So I have 11 and a half inches here. I'll minus 1.5 inches from 11.5 and place the remaining one here. So I have 10 inches here. I will go ahead and connect it from the waist to the hip. And I'll bring it down to the length. I'll go ahead and cut it out. Done with the cutting, go ahead and join the fabric together. So I've cut out the band. I have a three inches band here. I'll be using half inch to sew to the upper part and use the remaining half inch to join it to the lower part. In order to give it that structure, I iron the middle weight interface into it. So I will join it to the upper part first. This is one of the back. So I cut more than enough. After I finish stitching it, I can trim it off. I cut out two for each side. Two for this side, two for this side and two for the front part. I will take one of the bands, place it like so. The right side is up. The right side of the band are facing each other. I will place this in the middle. Place this like so and they use half inch to join them together. I'll do the same thing for the front panel. I'll place it like so. So I just make it longer. I, after I finish joining them together, I can trim the excess out. I'll use half inch to join them together at the waistline here. So guys, I'm done attaching the band to the upper part. I will join the upper part and the lower part together. I will take it like so, right side facing right side. I will use half inch to join them together. I will do the same thing for the back side. So this is the back. 
So I've joined the upper part and the lower part together. Now we attach the zip to the back side. My zip allowance is 1.5 inches. I will take 1.5 inches on this side and take 1.5 inches on this side. Stitch it all the way to the lower part. Well guys, I'm finished joining the upper part to the lower part. I will cut out pieces. I also attach the zip to the back side. So we go ahead and join the front and the back together. I will lay the front and the back against each other, right side facing right side. Now make sure the band are lined together. I will use half inch to join the shoulders. And use one and half inches to join this side because one and half inches is my sewing allowance. So I will take one inch from here. When I get to this place, I will increase it to one and a half inches. I will stitch it all the way to the lower part. I will repeat the same thing for the other side. So guys, I'm done joining the front and the back together. We're almost done with the dress. So I will go ahead and measure the neckline and use it to cut out the neckband. So measure it around. I have 15 inches for the round neckline, so I'll go ahead and cut the neckband. I've done a series of videos on how to cut out the neckband and attach it to the dress. I'll just go through it again. The neckline is 15 inches, so I'll fold my fabric. I'm cutting out two. I'll fold the fabric into two. Because I folded into two, I will divide the 15 inches by two. 15 divided by two is seven and a half inches. I will add half inch for sewing allowance. That's eight inches. So this is eight inches. I'll look for the midpoint of these 8 inches. So. I'll connect it to the sew. I'm taking two inches for the neckband plus sewing allowance. So right from this three quarter of an inch, I'll mark two inches round. Now we'll go ahead and cut it out. Make a curve here, the upper part here. I will iron it facing on one side. I will leave half inch here. I will use this half inch to attach it to the neckline. I will stitch it like so and bring it down here. And still leave half inch here on sewed. I'm done stitching the neckband. So I will go ahead and attach it to the neckline. I will start right from the back. Right side of the band is facing right side of the dress. I will use half inch to stitch it round. I will stitch it round. And use the second one to cover up the first stitch. And stitch it round again. I will also hem the lower part. I will use one inch to hem the lower part and use two inches to hem the sleeve. I will take half inch and take the many one and half inches and stitch it round. So guys I'm done attaching the bands to the neckline. So we add the pressing button here. 
the back side. I finished hemming the sleeve. I've also hemmed the lower part. After stitching this side here, this amplit area, make sure you notch it before turning it to the other side. Just to release the tension at the armpit area. To the back. The back. So guys, we have come to the end of today's tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you get to know whenever I upload new videos. See you guys in my next one. Love you. Bye.